Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. Delightful Dylan. And welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition, our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And yes, of course we include tequila in this competition. And today we are going to be trying a very high-end Blanco tequila. This is Fuente Seca's Blanco, the Concecha, is that how you say it? Concecha. Um, and this is the 2018 uh, bottling, I think it was. Uh, we've got a little plastic shield there. Let's get rid of that and try to get the bottle out of here. You can see there it's kind of tucked in here with a little guard. A guillotine. A little guillotine and <laughs> all these little pieces of uh, like horse hair. I don't know what that is. Horse, horse? hair. Uh, you can get rid of that. <laughs> and uh, beautiful bottle. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's Let's sexy. Take a close up here. Look at that. Fuente Seca, 100% agave, and we've got in info there on uh, which batch and where it's harvested from. We've got the elevation. Of course, this is from Enrique Fonseca, master distiller, and estate bottled. Really beautiful bottle. Um, great presentation. Proof point on this is, well, it's actually a 44.8% alcohol. Wow. This is NOM 1146. Dylan, you got any other info? I'm going to get us poured. So do you know why this is special? Tell us. What? So I guess they were trying to concentrate the sugars more than I guess a usual uh, production um, style. They would cut the agave and allow it to ripen mm. uh, more. So the thought is, so you know, just let as it, it sit rots, you know, we talk it. about sometimes like when we're doing reviews, like that rotting fruit in good way. The overripe. You know, yeah, overripe, yeah. concentrated sugars, um, the, like the chemical process that occurs when, you know, things ripen. So they I think they're trying to accept that. When do they do that? that you know, is that after they farmed it or after it's initially harvested? Yeah, like, uh, and you know, and then it's supposed cool. to combined with that because it's a highland, right? It's supposed to have, you know, those types of flavor profile that and minerals and things like that. So things like that. All right. Well, we are going to get tasting and we're going to score this, cool. and we'll be back in a jiffy. Wow. Look at the legs. I mean. It like completely coats the glass. Yeah. It's amazing. Price is like a 130 or so. Uh, I got this for 90, 99. Okay, so for members of Curiosity Private, by the way, I forgot to mention this, we're gonna be doing a taste off between the Fuente Seca, which again is a $100 bottle, at least, to the, uh, right over there, this one, the Ocho Blanco, which won our blind tasting of Blancos. Of course, the Fuente Seca wasn't in that blind tasting. Right. It might make it into the next round, we'll see, but we're gonna be doing a head-to-head -head taste off between these for members of Curiosity Private. So if you'd like to see that content, make sure you hit the join button down below or go over to yeah. Patreon and join over there. And if not, we're gonna jump right back into the review of Fuente Seca right now. Join. We've all had time to taste and score this independently. We haven't discussed it or looked at each other's scores. We're gonna announce our initial scores in just a second. First, Jules is gonna tell you oh, yeah. about our scoring system. I almost forgot. We have 100 points across 10 categories, mostly 10 points each. That include aroma, flavor, body, complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. However, at flavor, we rank at 20 points, and aesthetics and value at five points each. You can score in our competition if you get a 60 and above. Go from bronze, silver, gold, to diamond. I just had to give it one more taste. <laughs> Man, because every it single changed. time I've gone back to it, it seems like it's changing for you. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right. Let's give our initial <laughs> scores. I gave this an eighty-two. Whoa, eighty-two. I All gave right. it. Wow. A seventy-six. Wow. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. It's a hater over here. Discerning uh, Dylan. <laughs> Discerning Dylan. That's right. All right. Let's kick it off with aroma. I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight as well. Dude, okay. I gave it a seven. Yeah. And I gotta say, hmm. it's good, I I get but truly disappointing in that yeah. I expected more. I yeah. expected more and yeah, a lot more. That means more. you're just being biased. And the problem is that- For what's here on the nose, it's No, and, it's and the great. problem is that better. we, you know, no. I recently nosed the Fortaleza Blanco, the Arete Blanco. You prefer those? The, uh, what else? The Ocho, 
um, the G4, <laughs> I mean, like, even the A1. So you're doing a comparison. You're not really giving it saying, a proper And I'm tasting. just saying, like, I would say those had a breadth that this is lacking. Mm. This is sugar. This is sugar. Mm. It's Completely sweet. Disagree. It's I, sweet and no. it's agave. I got fruit. And, and I got that's the reason. Fruit, I'm getting a nice spice component yeah. to Completely there, too. That's the, reason, like, that's the no. reason why, after all of that He blew testing, his nose out smelling yeah. all the other stuff. You yeah. can't yeah. smell the beauty of That's why we're comparing this. it with the Ocho. Look, I wish this was better. I mean, unfortunately, okay. um, you know, if you're going here, into yeah. the the premium category in, in the like oh, for wow. a blanco, a hundred. I think it delivered everything on the nose. It aroma? is not delivering, delivering the way it in. should. I'm sorry. I wish I gave it a I gave it a chance. Well, I, you didn't I mean, get the full flavor of the nose. I think. No, I, mean, that's what I don't I'm talking think about. you like, guys are biased because of dude, the price. Dude, there is clear fruit on this nose. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, you guys haven't nosed all those other ones. Yeah, I have. No, We've I all haven't. tasted all of those. No, you don't remember. Okay. We'll see whose memory's better later. Let's move on to flavor. Uh, this is where my score changed uh, when I came back to it after kind of re-cleansing my palate and started to get additional flavors that yeah. I was kind of surprised by. 18. 18. Landed on that as well. Nice. I did start off low. I actually started off at 16. I started off at 17. And Okay, so yeah, not too far off. 17. Yeah, I get it. Okay. It's, yeah, me too. I get that. The thing too. I got, though, when I came back to it was the yeah. strawberry. Mm. It's like bright strawberry right at the beginning of the palate and then it fades into the agave. It's just, it's fantastic. Yeah, for me the agave evolution was great and then I was getting um, the, the fruit component, but yeah. and there was a nice floral that was happening yep. for me, which was awesome. Yeah, the, the positive is that it is basically stewed. a variation yeah, of sugar. Yeah. It's, stewed it's like agave. a sugar, sugar journey, right? Um, you get the agave. I, uh, you know, the reason why the score is still very high is because it's very clean. It's very yeah. mm. crisp. It's pure. Um, you can tell there are no, like, uh, weird additives to or anything me, though, like that. When I think of crisp agave, mm. I don't think of this. This, to me, tasted like stewed agave. You know, I'm not getting, I'm not getting like, the earthy tones. No. I'm not getting any of the... It's stewed mids. agave. Yeah, I don't stewed get, agave. I don't get a lot of that. It's it's hmm. just a concentrated white sugar. It's very wow. sweet and yeah. it's pleasant. Uh, I think and I think that's the reason why. But you know, I, I don't. <laughs> There's think... a lot more happening. No, here than no. You're I, you know what I mean? You know what I wanted to do? I I didn't want to taint this. You know, and and kind of show, prove that you show guys are wrong. Off. I was gonna grab that arete uh, blanco and have you try have you try it or yeah. nose it even we'll, nose it. We'll do that in the yeah. bonus footage. Yeah, and, and, and I you'll think see you'll, how wrong you'll, you are. You'll completely okay. change your mind. All right, let's move on to body. Uh, this is where this shines for me. This is mm. like the heft of this thing, the way it coats my palate. You can see it in the glass. Nine. Fantastic. Actually, really, this is actually where I docked it. I gave it a seven. It's a seven. And I actually wrote down like a seven. low on heft. Dutch, actually Dutch is on heft. another planet. No, I, I mean, body. You know, yeah. Okay. Not a nine. I mean, you can I see it in the glass. Look at this. Like, uh, tequila, Blanco tequilas do not usually coat the glass we need this way. To, we need to you can see his bank how well this coats I your palate. Like you can see how well it coats your palate. a major... Like, I'm not even like... This isn't even... Dis there's dis foul play disputable. happening. Mm. Wow. I don't know, man. No, like, dude. Like, it's just not... It's just... It, it envelops your it tongue. Drops. <sighs> no, no. I'm not, I mean, like, just the coating of the palate. To me, is what no, all these points came no, from. Man. No, I what think I thought tasting? it was really light. I thought it was wow. uh, bordering weak. You yeah. Know, so, yeah. You know, but, but you know like, what? You know what it is. What saved happening. it? What saved it was. Yeah. It's almost Probably. like the viscosity from the sugars. It's like the <laughs> fruit know, sugars, uh, the agave sugars that kind of made up for it a little bit. Yeah. But the, I, I the see problem is like. It doesn't have like a, it's a well-rounded body. It was just kind of like, yeah. you know, it's a kind of the sticky, sweet flavor that kind of mm -hmm. lingered. And I think that's why that. still it's very pleasant, but man. I get like know, a minerality so. lingering you know, again, on the tongue I, and all that. I don't know. To me, it's yeah. just like, it's a no. completely different experience. Yeah. All right, moving on to complexity. I did dock it a little bit seven. I gave it an eight. I gave it a six. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a little bit, it's, it's mostly this cooked agave. Which it's is sugar. expect from a Blanco. It's sugar. I think it's, I don't get a bright I, it, sugar, I think it's To me, it's yeah, much more, it's, it's that, it's that it's stewed, stewed. But, you know, the, the initial hit on the palate with the fruit didn't last. And that's why I was like, yeah. it was there for a second, and then it kind of goes away. And it's just this kind of, like, cooked agave remaining. No, but see, reason, it is there, because I was getting a lot of floral components still. I was getting that strawberry that lingered for me, which was nice. But reason why I kind of um, push for comparison with the Ocho for our private members is because... 
you know, the, the ocha, I think, was like really pure, right? Very pure, bright. But very narrow in this terms of the bright. spectrum. This is a different. Like, this is yes, not bright. This has, this yeah, has this I think, bright. more. This is cooked. Of, yeah, it's, That's like, it's raw. a cooked, yeah. yeah. But it, it doesn't have the breadth. And that's why the complexity is still at a six. I, I don't know. I think it's just the difference between bright and cooked. No, this is cooked. Yeah. Missing, Ocho's bright, it's uncooked. It's missing a lot I'm, of yeah. like the flour. It's missing a lot I, of the. I think it had that. The, no, the, like, I, the it had it. I think you it's were missing, missing it. It's yeah. missing the, <laughs> the mineral. It's missing like the vegetable. I'll give you the earthy it's isn't that prominent. It's missing the earthy components that you see in a G4. You don't see any of that. This is. It was still. I mean, this is crisp, straightforward, but narrow. Opposite of crisp. Opposite of crisp. I completely agree. Opposite of crisp. Cooked. Yeah. And jammy. Okay, moving on to balance. Um, even though I didn't think it was very complex, I think what is here is well balanced. I give it an eight. Yeah, same eight. I give yeah. it a seven. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's it's not a lot to balance ultimately, yeah. and I feel like you kind of have to dock it a little bit for that. But nothing punches out. So of So you think spot. that the complexity is not there? Yeah, that's what I said. Right. Yeah, complexity is low. Balance is easier because it's, a com it's not very complex. So right. you know. I, I wish I wish I got more than just the sugar. Mm. I, see. I don't I get any sugar. Like I get just, all agave. It's Me too. All cooked agave. It's all white sugar. Like really wow. sweetness. Just what? I don't know why you're on it. There's no I sugar get, in yeah. this. Yeah. It is 100% agave. I'm not agave. getting any of that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Moving on to finish. Uh, I really enjoyed it at nine. Me too. It I only it got better. Oh, I gave it an eight. I gave it a seven. Mm. I thought it was don't good. I thought it was good. I think that's too low. Dude. I'm on my second glass of this. He's barely touched it. Yeah, he's not drinking. He really doesn't like this. I think it's yeah. good, but it's... I've had better. I mean, uh, unfortunately, I've had better. This finish, man? I don't know. I think... No. The way it lingers, the heat kind of rises for a second. You know what? I wanted... It, it fades know, in kind of... It fades perfectly out. That's why I like about it. Let, yeah. Let's not it's do the Ocho. Even let's fade. not do the Ocho, and let's compare it with the other one, and just, like, it, 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 I want to watch it get destroyed. Which other one? Like, Arete. You want to compare this to Arete? Yeah. It'll be destroyed. Okay. Well, It'll members, you guys will get to see that. Let's keep destroyed. going to the uniqueness. I didn't really know what to write down here. I wrote down an eight. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> I wrote an eight. I was lingering around yeah. seven, eight. It's a unique expression. Yeah. The bottle's unique. The presentation's great. Yeah. The story's interesting. The story's interesting. The story's cool. Uh, it's definitely it. um, like a connoisseur's yes. yeah. uh, a drink connoisseur's that jam. you put on the shelf because you can tell the story yeah. about the yeah. uh, ripening, right? All right, next category, drinkability. Like I said, I'm on my second glass. This is a nine. Easy. I could easily sit here and sip on this. Yeah, I give it an eight. I actually gave it a nine Yeah, because oh. it's sugar water. I mean, it, it's literally sugar. Whatever you want to describe. Whatever. I mean, it yeah. has a dame, but it's, exactly. it's like sweet. It, I, it's almost like soda it is not. in terms of how what? sweet Nothing it is. Like no. That. Yeah. Oh my god. It's that club soda you had, man. Jeez. No, this, this guy, guy drinking, very his, sweet. drinking his, his Dr. Pepper in between very takes. Sweet. Very sweet. problem. Very sweet. All right, next category, aesthetics. I like it four. Me too. I give it a five. I give it a four. Why is it a five? It's got that I see box a, presentation. The it's box got the wax cool. top. It's like, yeah. look at the sexy bottle design. It does have Come this on. wax on the, the top. The sticker, yeah. Uh, um, it's uh, great, man. Yeah, but it's you know what? Tequila is perfect. You got to really will stand out. Though. You got to really work to get a five in tequila these days. I feel like. Because <laughs> even take Grand Coromino, right? <laughs> that, Ke Kevin Hart. Do Hart's, you really yeah, need to work true. that hard? That's true. It's a great looking bottle. I mean, Sincoro gets a five. This is fun. This is like a four point. <laughs> yeah, it's a four. That's why. It's a high four. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, strong four. Yeah, strong weak four. five. Very strong five. four. All right, uh, final category value. I mean, despite how much I like this, I feel like you can get this for a for like 50, 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. You can get a lot of these this experience, so I ended up at a two on value. Oh, interesting. I give it a four. I think it's but I could be talked down. It, I do think it's it is overpriced. Uh, but I like that you got it cheaper. So. 99 yeah. Okay. I mean, $100. Yeah, so right. I mean, this would, and that's where for I me mean, it's What does score? I, I initially put it as a four, yeah. mm. right? And, I the, and the reason that. for that is because yeah. even though it is very expensive Blanco, um, the, you know, they did something um, that most producers weren't doing, and it would be worth buying just to have that very unique experience. Yeah. Because you don't yeah. really see that. You're never going to feel let down right. at $100. That's, that's why I say sure. that there's even a you, value. And you didn't like it as much as us, us but if you paid $100, I don't, th I don't yeah. think you'd be like, but, oh, I wasted my But money. I would want it on my shelf because yeah. it is truly so unique, unique in, in some yeah. way. Yeah. Um, I think I should I, go up to a three probably. Yeah, I think two's really. Yeah, really I'm going to go up to a three. But, I mean, I get yeah. it though, at the 150 range. I, don't know. I, I think I'll go down to three. I think it's a little too Yeah, three expensive. makes more sense to me yeah, personally. Yeah, makes sense. I do think it's a little too expensive. Know. Because, I mean, I mean, seriously, like, 
I, I couldn't say this is any better. It's true only because like, like a Fortaleza. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I don't think I don't necessarily think it's better than an Ocho. It's different, completely different in my. But mind. at Fortaleza pricing. But or at Ocho not, pricing. Yeah, I mean yeah, again, right, I don't right, know how it would do head to head, but yeah, I do think it's just a little too high. You're Sugar right, agave. Extra ripening, 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 ripening. What are you saying, dude? Ripening. All right, let's get our final tally here, guys. Um, mm. Before Dylan babbles into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My final uh, tally on this was an eighty-three. Mine is eighty-one. Uh, Seventy-five. Which gives us our official score for silver. Fuente Seca Blanco, twenty eighteen. A very strong. Silver at 79. It's 79.6, and of course we do oh, round yeah. down. So 79. man, very close to hitting that gold mark. Almost. Almost there. Almost. Great showing by Fuente Seca Definitely. with this. Um, I think we all agree. Good, good tequila, maybe a little overpriced. I think a lot of tequila connoisseurs loved the first or the previous batch, right? The 2015. Um, one. Yeah. yeah, they really yeah. loved it. Um, I don't know. I, I think I had a very different experience from you on this. I mean, to I, me, the, this was all about the did. heft and the mouthfeel, and that's why I was lobbying to compare uh, it to the Lot 100. Which no, I don't know about the This the stood out to me because of the way it coated the palate. No, you know what? I'm, I, I thought maybe trying to get a similar flavor profile that's to, to, to like try it. to compare. Yeah. I, that's why I was trying to do the Ocho. But now I'm thinking we shouldn't do that. We should actually go and and use one of the other ones because yeah, okay. I didn't want to I didn't want to use the other ones because the the aroma the flavor is very different. Yeah. But I felt like from what you are saying, you're 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 treating this as though this is like the the best thing since sliced bread. No, uh, I'm no treating it like an eighty three. No, which is I think really we need good. to compare it. No, I think we need to compare it. So uh, uh, let's end this. So hurry up and we can. <laughs> yeah, okay. you know, let. Uh, <laughs> Dylan Kobayashi Maru. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me tell experience. you what you scored. This is, exactly. <laughs> this right, is Jules, take us out. <laughs> tells you Don't guys worry, think. Yeah. Swear to God, in the comments below, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, just let us know how you feel. Uh, subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. If you want to help us out, please consider joining Curiosity Private a membership program here on YouTube. You get early releases and unique content like this taste off that we're about to do. Uh, another great way is to uh, purchase T-shirts. The like t-shirt shop, yeah. Check out our uh, podcasts on a major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. This is for our members, right? Okay, okay. So no, look. no, not yet. We're still doing uh, outro. Oh, really? Okay, but... <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting, doesn't so, matter. so here's the thing. So I want you to nose that and then compare it with this. You can't nose it out of the bottle, dude. <sighs> Fine. Jeez. <laughs> nah, you rarely see him this for a time. Exactly. <laughs> Here you go, Dylan. I already got you a glass. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this guy. There, are you happy now? It's big no. enough for a schnauzer. <laughs> I can't smell anything. Give me, give me, give me a glass. <laughs>